Tower was designed for existing buildings, right? So it was ex designed that these strategies would be cost effective and that you could do it out of an operational budget and wouldn't require a capital budget to do most of these strategies. So something as simple as putting signage in a building, reminding people to take the stairs actually increases people's likelihood to take the stairs. 8% uh, increase in stair taking just by a prompt saying, take the stairs, it's good for you. So we as humans are very uh, responsive to signage. So that's a very low hanging fruit that any building can do. Maintenance, we've discussed maintenance. I'm gonna bring it up again. Having high quality maintenance policies in place has a direct impact on people's physical health, their mental health and levels of trust. That is an essential piece of a building. The way a building is operated, we just talked about it, has the greatest impact on tenant satisfaction. So that is your indoor air quality policy, right? These do not require a lot of capital expenditure, right? This is looking at how do I maintain my mechanical systems? How do I ensure that they are actually being commissioned on a regular basis and that they are operating per the specifications? Uh, that is your um, cleaning protocols, your maintenance, your integrated pest management. All of these operational policies don't require a lot of expenditure. It's really how are you running the buildings? The things that do require a lot of expenditure, you don't have to do them. Like moving a staircase is never going to happen. If it's new construction, you should build that staircase so you can see it. If it is an existing building and the stair is currently behind a steel door, the best thing that you could do is to sign posts and say, the door's in the corner, it's open on every floor, um, and these are the benefits of taking the stair, right? You, you, you're not going to re like position a staircase. Uh, maybe you could put in a glass door so folks can see into the stair, like we know that that increases people's likelihood to use the stairs. Um, so Fitwell is super practical. They are not high cost strategies for the most part. And the ones that are, you don't, there's nothing that's a prerequisite, right? You can do it in any order. Um, and the system itself, the way that Fitwell works is it actually creates a gap analysis per asset. So you can create a custom to-do list in the order of the greatest health impact. Um, food policy as well is in there creating community gardens. Again, these are not big capital outlays, right? This is really about like, what, how are you prioritizing your time and effort working with your tenants?